Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to do a general collective reading. This is going to be for 5th April 2022 Tuesday. Um, but it might resonate whenever you come across this video. This is a general reading, guys, and it will not resonate with all of you. If you want to get deeper insights into your own personal situation, please get a personal reading with me. All my details are given below in the description box. All right, so let's just jump right in. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all the love, your comments, your positive feedback. Thank you. Okay, so what's the strongest energy coming in for today, please? What does the collective needs to know for today? What does the collective needs to know for today, please? Okay, not that one. Hmm. Indecision in the reverse. Wow, somebody has made a decision. Number eight. They are not indecisive anymore. Let's see. Why is indecision in the reverse? Action. Wow. So, yeah. Eight. So, 17 is also eight. This is eight. I think within eight days. Could be eight weeks for some of you, but I feel this is more like eight days for some of you or most of you. Somebody is taking action, okay? Yeah, they are they are not at all feeling indecisive anymore and they have decided to take action towards you. Their spirit is running free even when their ego still tries to hold them back, okay? Because we have a white horse which is symbolic of spirit like right the heart black horse is symbolic of ego the mind so even when their spirit is running free running wild their ego is still trying to hold back this black horse is not running right it's standing there the white horse seems to be running there's a hawk in the skies so this is like introspection this person might soon be taking action to, um, you know, it's more like introspecting. What is going on? What's the situation? What's this connection with you? Where are you energetically when it comes to them and this connection with them? So yeah, this person wants to introspect. Okay, woman holding a coin in the reverse. Hmm. Let's see, why is this woman holding a coin in the reverse? All right. The sun. So it's, it's more like it could be two things. If this is your person that we are picking up on today, the energy, I feel there was a karmic who was extremely focused on material things, okay? Your person's reputation, their money, their wealth, okay? So this woman was basically clinging on to your person for all the wrong reasons, all materialistic reasons. This woman is greedy. She doesn't want to share Okay, she doesn't want to share her love, she doesn't want to share her wealth, she's not charitable, she's not grounded. So basically your person might have left a woman, someone like this. If this is like this is not a karmic situation and if there's no other person in your in your person's life, I feel with this on card here, you left, okay, and after you left, this person has clarity now, how much you mean to them. So yeah, with the sun card, you are their source of happiness. You rejuvenate this person. You are wise, you are beautiful, you are learned. You appreciate others for their 
goodness for their efforts. Your person might have not met someone like that before, right? Because this woman here, if this 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 was a karmic, this woman is it's like nagging, right? Constant nagging. I want this. I want that. What about me? That kind of a, um, like, that's the energy here. But I feel this is also you leaving this person. So woman holding a coin is a beautiful woman. She is classy. She is chic, very well dressed. Okay, someone who has a lot of money in their bank account, someone who is financially stable. With the black cat here, she's extremely intuitive, right? And her crown chakra with all the purple here, her crown chakra is highly active. She believes in the universe. She manifests quickly. She believes in her guides and her angels. And she believes that she is protected, cared for, right? If this is you, if this is you, um, this woman holding a coin, it's just an energy, not gender specific, but it, it could be a woman here. You, you might be a woman watching this video. So yeah, you showed this person a lot of love because we do have Archangel Raphael, Heart Chakra, you show this person a lot of unconditional love, but still, I think your person's priorities were a bit messed up in the past. They might have chosen a karmic like this, a greedy person who's all about money and wealth and reputation. You leaving this person was the biggest favor you ever did to this person, right? So this delay was actually a blessing in disguise. Now this person knows it. Now he now this person acknowledges it. They know you are the one and they are ready to take action. They are not indecisive anymore. 722 on the clock, guys. Okay, so let's go further. What's happening today, please? What is the energy? What does the collective needs to know for today? Okay, wow. This person wants commitment. Look at this. Libra, Justice, and Ace of Pentacles. Wow. This person wants to offer you commitment. Something about black nail color here. Here also black nail color. This person might have seen you in, in black nail color perhaps or your pictures. This person loves it on you. You're, they think your hand looks very beautiful and feminine with this black nail color on. But yeah, this person is now thinking about commitment with you. They want to offer you something solid and stable. Hmm. What else for today, please? What does the collective need to know for today? Thank you. Okay. Six of Pentacles, yeah, this person wants to invest and they want that same energy from you, okay? They want you to reciprocate. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What else for today? What does the collective needs to know for today, please? Thank you. Ace of Cups, oh my goodness, look at this. Now this could be someone relatively new in your life, okay? Because we have two Aces, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. If this is not someone relatively new, this could be your person, someone you have been inquiring about, someone you're watching this video for, right? This person truly wants a new beginning, a very loving, emotional, happy, solid, stable new beginning. And 
they're very they're very certain about this. There's no indecisiveness anymore. Your absence has made this person realize it looks like that they have changed a lot. There's a big transformation that they have gone under. Oh, okay. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so let's see what's that about. Why is the Eight of Wands in the reverse? It could be that this, there is no communication, Eight of Wands in the reverse. Maybe you both haven't met each other in person, like physically. You haven't spoken to this person in a long time. Your absence has completely changed this person's point of view, their perspective on you. It has changed a lot. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Why is justice here, please? Why is justice here? 11-11 Eleven, on the clock, guys. Wow. Why is justice here, please? Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this person is... So it's like their heart and mind are both aligned now, okay? They're in balance. They know they, they cannot stay stuck forever, eight of swords in the reverse, and they know that they do need to take this action. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Ace of pentacles. Why is the ace of pentacles here, please? Thank you. Wow, can you believe it? Ten of Pentacles, guys. Ace to ten. This person, you are their everything, okay? They are going to go small initially and they are going to land up here. Ten of Pentacles, believe it or not, guys, this person is going to marry you, okay? And... I think whoever this is resonating with, I think you already know who this person is. Could be a very strong soulmate, could be a twin flame as well. This is not a karmic energy, okay? This person is not a karmic. This is your, this could be your divine partner, your divine counterpart here. Ace to ten guys, this person sees long term, beautiful house, all that money in the bank account, taking trips together, having beautiful babies together, having pets together. Yeah, that's what's there, you know, in their mind. Six of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so... They have been holding back, okay, because they might have been, like, they, they were not sure too much that you will reciprocate here with the Six of Pentacles, but it's like it has been building up, okay? It's it's all pent up energy, and it, it really can't go anywhere now. So this person is actually deciding to take action. <sighs> <clears throat> so we have strong earth energy, we have Leo and we have Libra here, strongly in this reading. Earth energy would be Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Ace of Cups, why is the Ace of Cups here please, thank you. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, the moon in the reverse. Okay, so this person is... They don't want to reflect on this anymore, okay? It's because the moon in the upright is... It's like this, this woman here. She's reflecting on the past memories. She's missing someone terribly, okay? Her intuition knows who this person is. We have twin pyramids here so yeah there's 
a resonance or acknowledgement of a past life as well. In the reverse, this person is done. They cannot stay stuck in fear forever and they do not want to just keep reflecting on things, okay? It's time to take action. It has been so long that this person has felt stuck where they are at right now. They have tried to protect themselves. They have tried to block these feelings for you. No more. I don't feel it. It's it's like this person is very determined to come forward now in some form. Okay. <sighs> yep, see? Strength. This is a very different strength card. Just see how this white tiger is slowly approaching, right? This is a this is approach. This tiger is not standing in one place. Again, we have two mountains in the background. Acknowledgement of a past life. A very deep soul connection. They are coming forward. Very slow and steady, strategic steps towards you. Okay, this person is moving, guys. This person is moving. We have eight, number eight again. Wow, just look at this. Indecision was eight. Action is 17, which is again eight. We have eight of wands and strength again is eight. Some of you, if you know, if you're not inquiring about something, it could be that there's a lot of financial stability coming in with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. All you need to do is keep yourself balanced, keep yourself aligned into positivity. Okay, if this is your person that you are inquiring about, yep, I think eight days or eight weeks, there's a very strong emphasis on number eight. Okay, for some of you, it could be eight minutes. For some of you, it could be eight hours. Maybe this person is, you know, taking action towards you in eight minutes or eight hours. Please let me know if that happens. That would be quite something, right? And for most of you, I feel this is eight days. All right, let's see. What is the outcome here? What is happening today? What? Does the collective needs to know, please? This is a very heavy deck. Just look at this, guys. It's like a workout for my fingers. But this is a very different deck. The energy is completely different. Which is tarot. Sorry, which is wisdom is what this deck is called. Okay. <gasps> Oh my god, guys, this is my favorite card in this deck. Six of air, six of swords. Yep, this is communication. This is wanting eternal, unconditional love, having a beautiful family, beautiful babies. Just see how beautiful this card is. I love this card in this deck. We have a fox here in the background which is telling us that this person has a very clever idea a very clever plan to make this happen this beautiful reunion two swarms okay so i feel this is a twin flame for most of you if you are seeing images or symbols of swans like a couple of swans it's it it is a clear-cut sign that this person is unconditionally in love with you and this love that this person feels for you it's out of this world they have never felt something like this ever before this is communication okay so within eight days some of you can expect some kind of 
communication or like an approach or some kind of an interaction. Now I cannot really put my finger on what kind of a communication this is going to be, whether it's a phone call or a message, text message, or is this physical, it is going to vary for all of you. But this is definitely some kind of a communication or interaction between both of you, okay? For a very few of you, this could be an interaction in your dreams. We, we do have the Moon card here. So Moon is also related to dreams and intuition. So for, for a very few of you, this could be an interaction, like a face-to-face -face communication in your dreams. Wow. <clears throat> Ace of Fire again, Ace of Fire, so many aces, this person is burning for you, okay, it's like every moment, wow, we have Ace of, we have all four aces, guys, Ace of Air is basically Ace of Swords, Ace of Fire is basically Ace of Wands, we have all four aces, yep, so this new beginning is coming in your life, whether you believe it or not, this person is coming in, guys, okay, very soon, your connection is taking a turn for the positive. It's like it's like you are being guided towards each other, right? You're being pushed or shoved towards each other. You need to meet. That's what the divine is telling you both. You need to do this now. Now is the time. Very soon, like this Aries season, all that fiery energy, the sun, a sapphire. I feel Aries season is of significance to like quite a few of you here. Wow, a sapphire. Every moment spent apart from you, this person feels like that the devil is trying to burn them in this. Uh, what is this? I am forgetting the name. Okay, whatever this is, like a cauldron. It feels like the devil is punishing them. The separation is basically torture. Intense torture every moment spent apart from you. This person is in pain, guys. And you know what? I'm I'm really excited right now because it 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 so happens that in some of my readings my my energy is totally it it, it goes down right. I feel very emotional and breathless. Sometimes I'm excited and it it's a happy excitement. So that is what I'm feeling from this energy here. It, it is a very happy, excited energy. Something brand new is about to start, guys. Take note of it, okay? Take note. <gasps> wow. Yep. This connection is healing. Number eight again. I'm telling you. <sighs> I don't know what... Number eight, August is the eighth month. Something might happen in the month of August. Number eight could be like your life path number or your birthday comes on eight. Okay, so something about eight here. Eight days, eight weeks, eight hours, something about eight. I'm telling you, this connection is now healing. Brand new beginning, guys. Brand new beginning. And we do have the messenger of fire, which is like the knight of wands. So yeah, again, action. Taking action towards you. Wow. I'm blown away right now. Okay, what is the guidance for my viewers, please? What does my viewer need to know? What's happening here? 
<clears throat> what is the guidance for my viewer, please? Thank you. Oh, okay, no. Shakti. The Christ flame, yep. I think you already know that this person is burning for you. They are sad and depressed without you and you can feel every ounce of their energy in your physical reality okay i think you already know because you can feel this person shakti and christ flame is also telling you about really taking care of your health okay this could be that some of you might face a bit of a challenging time when it comes to your overall health, mental, physical, emotional. So yeah, really take some time out, guys, and relax, okay? Meditate and treat yourself good, like pamper yourself. Towering magnificence, yep. So just see how this dark side and the light side, they are merging together, okay? As I said, the black horse and the white horse, the spirit was running free, wild, but the ego might have been trying to hold your person back. Just know that their mind, their ego, and their heart is now merging. They are balanced. They have decided that they want to take this one path, the path which leads to you, right? There's, it's like a heaven upstairs, like um, um, up above. It's, it feels like heaven. So this person has decided that they are going to go for this. No more holding back. Yeah, so, okay. Very quickly, just get a few messages. Is there something this person wants to say to my viewer, please? Is there something this person wants to say to my viewer? I just saw 2717 on the clock, guys. Is there something this person wants to say to my viewer, please? This person has started to enjoy themselves, okay? They might have been very critical or very bitter towards themselves during this time of separation. But I feel now this person is learning to live in the moment, seize the moment and make the best of what is available now, right? I just got a vision and this is the gist of that vision. <clears throat> wow. Yeehaw. Yeah, so the horses are running. Yeehaw. This person is coming towards you. Mm. Love in spite of it all. Yeah. No matter what happened, how things look or looked in the 3D, in the physical reality, the love that they felt from day one, it has never gone away. They have always been in love with you. They are still in love with you. And by the looks of it, they will never be able to love anyone else apart from you. You are the only one for this person. So yeah, this person recognizes that this love cannot go away. It will always be there like air that they breathe. Turn on your love light. So this person is maybe requesting you to give them a signal or a green light that they can come towards you and, you know, that you are willing to accept or at least listen to them. So this person is looking for a sign from you, perhaps a green flag or a green light. Okay, they're requesting you to turn on your love light here. Maybe you have cut off, like, 
you've been very cut off from this person. So this person is requesting for a signal here. Okay, one last card. Everyone is doing their best. Yeah, this person will do their best, very determined. They'll do their best, okay? They will come towards you very soon. <laughs> wow. So I'm pretty excited, guys. Please do let me know if you hear from this person, okay? Or if you have dreams about this person. Because sometimes it does happen that the ego doesn't let people to come and apologize in the physical reality. So their guilt, because they're always thinking about you constantly, and that guilt and regret is eating up on them. So they, you know, they try to contact you in the 4D realm, the dream world, and they apologize to you in the dream world. I know that because my twin has apologized to me in my dreams and not just once, quite a, like, quite a few times actually. One time he was just going on and on and on that how wrong he was and I wasn't e even able to speak up. He was just constantly apologizing. That's how sorry he was, right? And it's like I was in my dream. I was just wondering, why are you apologizing? I forgave you a long time back, right? And whatever happened, I should be just grateful. I should thank you. Why are you apologizing? And But he, he didn't let me speak. He was just constantly going on and on and on and on, how wrong he was, how sorry he is, etc., etc., yeah, but he, he has never done that in the physical reality, like face to face, okay? Because his ego, I think, keeps him, like, it holds him back. Um, he's afraid that, you know, his ego might get hurt, but really, it doesn't even matter, okay? So, yeah, that's just a little insight in my personal situation, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for you guys. Just look at this beautiful reading, guys. Wow, I'm happy for you. All right, guys, I hope it resonated and helped you in some way, sending you much love and light. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.